Hello there, I hope you're having a great day. So, I really love working with calendars and I have created quite a few videos about uh, things you can do with the uh, calendars in the Ruby on Rails application. And recently I noticed that uh, Hey has added this new feature, import events into Hey. So you can upload an ICS file and it would be added to your calendar. And uh, I started thinking, how can this feature be implemented? What if you could uh, import ICS files uh, and store them in your application? So we are going to start with uh, having a blank application where we have uh, an empty list of events. An event can have start time, end time, the uh, name of the event, the description, the URL and location. And we are going to take .ICS files and upload them into our application. Now, where can we get uh, a few good examples of ICS files? I went to the Meetup website and they have uh, all these events and you can uh, go to add calen to calendar and you can export an event in the iCal uh, format. So I added this event to my calendar. I will uh, also download this other event. Let's uh, add it to calendar, iCal. So you see these files are being uh, downloaded and I have them in my... Uh, in my downloads folder. Here they are. Let's try having a look at one of these uh, events. I will open it in the editor. So what do we have? We have uh, date uh, start, date end. We have the uh, summary. So it's like the name, the description, the location, the URL, the geographical coordinates. This is really cool. So let's try passing this kind of events uh, and adding them to our application. Now to do this, to pass these uh, ICS files, we are going to use the iCalendar gem. Actually Basecamp, uh, like hey, they are also using this uh, iCalendar gem uh, in their application. Uh, and uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, use it to pass events, uh, pass ICS files. So we're going to use this uh, passing iCalendar's uh, functionality. It has iCalendar, calendar.pass. So let's install the iCalendar gem in our application. I will uh, say uh, uh, bundle, bundle, add uh, iCalendar. It will add the gem to our gem file and run bundle and uh, now we can go to the Rails console and try uh, passing the file using iCalendar but uh, uh, let's try first adding these files into our application folders so let's store this uh, ICS file somewhere that we can play with it from our application I will go to test uh, fixtures files and uh, I will uh, store one or both events in our files Okay, here we have them in our test folder, so it will be possible to access these files uh, even if we like commit. Uh, yeah, and we can run tests on these files. So, uh, okay, now I will say the Rails console, I will say file path equals, and let's get the path to one of these files. So, uh, here it is. Uh, now I will say uh, uh, file equals file dot open file path and ICS or equals uh, i calendar calendar dot pass file so we have this ICS and actually it has a collection of calendars so there can be multiple calendars and multiple calendars can have multiple events so I will say ICS dot first, it will be the first calendar dot events dot first. And here we have the actual object of our single event. So it has description, date start, date end, uh, location, uh, um, the information about whether the event is recurring. So a lot of stuff here about uh, it being or not being recurring. And uh, uh, summary, UID, URL. So let's... Uh, add uh, uh, a method to our event model to be able to create an event based on this uh, file. So I will go to event.rb and here I will say uh, dev self.create from ICS file. And here I will say file equals file.open file. So this is actually the file path. Then uh, I will say calendars equals iCalendar calendar 
dot pos uh, file yeah vice versa here it is file and here it is file path then uh, event equals calendars dot first dot events dot first and finally we'll have event dot create and in the creative we'll have uh, uh, what are the attributes that we have we have uh, starts at that will be event uh, it will be uh, event dot date start so event dot date start and it will be event date end Uh, then we'll have location will be event.location summary will be event.summary and uh, description will be event.description I think these are all the attributes that we have yeah we actually also have URL let's add URL okay so we have this method and uh, Later on, we will see how we can uh, actually use it. Let's uh, go on and create a form in our application like this one, where we can upload one or multiple files and uh, click and the files will be imported by hitting this uh, uh, method in the event uh, model. So let's quit. Let's uh, start the Rails server. Yeah, we already have it running. And uh, here, let's create a form. So uh, let's go to events uh, index and I will say equals form with... Uh, URL will be import events uh, path, method will be post, do form. And we'll have a form.file field. Uh, ICS file and we'll have form.submit. Let's refresh. So undefined the uh, path. So let's go to our roots, and here I will say resources events do uh, collection do, and we'll have a post uh, uh, import. So let's verify whether the path works now. I will refresh. Yes, the path works. Uh, I don't see the file field. Yeah, I've got the equals. Okay. So we can input an ICS file and let's try doing this. I click upload, save, and all. nothing will happen because we don't have the controller action to respond. So if we go here, we actually get an error. The action import could not be found in the events controller. So going to events controller, I will create the import action, def import, and uh, I will uh, have the params uh, uh, what is the params I see as file here so I will say uh, file equals params I see as file and I will say event dot uh, create from ICS and we're going to pass in the file and then we'll say redirect to events uh, path notice event uh, imported or events imported Let's see if this uh, works. I'm going to add one of the events, upload, save. Okay, we have uh, uninitialized constant event uh, i calendar. Uh, interesting. Why is that? Uh, do we have i calendar installed? Uh, yes, we do. Maybe I made some kind of typo. I calendar calendar. Let's go to the event.rb. Yeah, this thing is okay. Um, I don't think we need to require in the Rails model. This is a bit strange. Let's uh, try adding the require. Oh, maybe we can just restart the server. Maybe it'll work if we restart the server. I will uh, try once again. I will upload the file. And now it worked, yeah. I need to restart the 
to require a calendar. So yeah, we managed to upload one file. Let's uh, work on uploading multiple files. This is going to be an easy update. We're going to say uh, file field, uh, ICS file, let's name it ICS files, multiple. True. So now in the form we can have multiple files. And uh, we're going to have to pass them here. So let's say files equals params ICS files and uh, files dot each do file. And we're going to run this uh, create from ICS for each of these files. So let's try again. I will import uh, two events. Save. And I have this no such file or directory. Interesting. So one of the file paths is... Uh, not defined. We have uh, just empty braces. Let's try to debug it in the controller. Here I will put the debugger and try to submit once again. Okay, click on save. I'm in the debug. Let's say params. Uh, or what do we have here? We have uh, files. Oh yeah, I just broke it. Let's try once again. So inputting a couple of files, submitting, I'm in the debugger, files, and you see we have two actual files and one blank space. I think it's connected with multiple true. Uh, never mind, we are going to uh, reject this blank space. So uh, we're not going to run uh, the files each for it. So I will say reject uh, blank. Let's try running this in our console. So you see we don't have the uh, empty braces anymore and it should work now. I will remove the debugger, quit, uh, restart the server, and let's try uploading multiple events. So one, two, upload, save, and now we have three events in our calendar. So this is so easy. We managed to uh, create a form to upload and uh, Pulse uh, events uh, in the ICS format looks good. And now we can also maybe test this method. So we'll go to test uh, models event test. And uh, let's try adding a really basic test to uh, test this. Now, previously, you see, we already uh, imported these files into our test. So um, let's uh, take one of them. I will uh, copy the path to the file. And uh, let's uh, say. Uh, test. Uh, uh, so I'll have file path equals this. Mm, we're going to test uh, create from ICS. And uh, okay, we have this. Then I will say event dot uh, create from ICS file path. Let's say event equals. And uh, I will say event uh, or like puts uh, event dot uh, summary. Let's see if uh, like we can run this test. I will copy the path rails test. Uh. Okay, so it managed to pass it. So uh, let's uh, say assert uh, equal. Uh, Sunday morning yoga in and tips event summary. Now let's run the test. Oh, and you see, actually, it, we have an additional blank space. Maybe it is from the uh, ICS that we are importing. So here we can uh, uh, say something uh, like strip uh, dot strip. If there is an empty white space in what we are importing, so. Uh, Okay, yeah, now the test was successful, and that's basically it. So we've added the functionality to import uh, ICS files to our application. And uh, I really love this icon, the gem. In uh, episode 101, actually, we used uh, this icon, the gem to generate ICS files. And well, here we uh, use the gem to read ICS files. So thanks for being with me, and see you in the next one.